Started the week with a little pool exercising. Here's a little update of my bump at 39 weeks. I love going to the pool, it's the best workout. My iron levels are still low, so today I'll discuss with the midwife and see if she recommends I go through with the infusion. My concern is that there's a lot of side effects to getting the infusion, and last time I had a really bad fever when I had it about two years ago, so I'm just scared that I'm going to labor and then be sick. <laughs> but we'll see what she recommends if she thinks that's best then that's probably what I'll do. Starting to have pre-labor symptoms. Just cramping, really mild cramping, a little more intense than from before. I'm also having a little low back pain. I'm starting to be nauseous in the mornings. Whenever I wake up, I'm nauseous. My heartburn is back. I feel like all that is early labor signs because I wasn't feeling like that before. I've also started to swell up like a balloon. I am swollen just everywhere. I can just feel like I'm retaining a lot more fluid, which happens towards the end of pregnancy. We'll see what the midwife says today and then see and just wait to see if baby comes. We had to try this place. They had vegan tacos. It was called El Condado, I think, and it was so delicious. We loved these tacos and the chips with the queso were the best we've ever had. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nelly. If you're new here, I just started posting videos about my pregnancy, just doing little updates. Uh, mainly vlogs. Today I wanted to make this video about getting an iron infusion. I'm scheduled to get one today, here in a few minutes. So I figured I will talk about it while I did my makeup. So I am currently 38 weeks and 5 days. It's pretty late in the pregnancy so I was really debating whether I wanted to get the iron infusion or not because about two years ago I had I don't guess an allergic reaction. They think it was just a common side effect of getting an infusion. Sometimes there can be side effects. Not everyone gets them, but some people get fevers, nausea, headaches, swelling. It can also induce labor. So I was just really hesitant about getting an infusion because I don't want to get sick this late in pregnancy since I'm already <laughs> basically full term. I spoke with our midwife yesterday. She told me that there are just more benefits to getting it than risks. The only risk would be me, you know, getting a fever or just feeling sick and going to labor, which doesn't sound ideal, but there's things you can do to treat that. At the beginning of pregnancy, I started at a seven so my iron was really low and I started taking Floridex that's um, a liquid pres prescription you can buy it on Amazon that's where I've been ordering it from like it's not made from animals it's made from plants I also started taking chlorophyll I would just add that on my smoothies and that really helped um, my levels are now at a 10 as of two days ago but I did stop taking the chlorophyll, which I guess, you know, <laughs> it didn't help that I stopped taking the chlorophyll. So it's been hard for me to take my iron. So some days I would skip and I just, I couldn't force myself to do it because it's just so, it's not nasty, but it, it burns whenever I take it and I have heartburn. It's just not <laughs> fun. So going to try the iron infusion and see how that goes. Hopefully, I don't get sick. I've been pregnant, I feel like a long time now, so I wouldn't mind if it induced labor, but I definitely just don't want to get sick. I don't want to feel horrible going into labor, so hopefully that doesn't happen. So, so far I've not been tired really 
just lately here this last week i have started to feel a little tired because i'm carrying this big old belly around <laughs> my lower back hurts and i can't really sleep like i can't get comfortable to sleep up to this point like i hadn't been tired i've had energy i don't get you know worn out whenever i walk or anything like that um so i haven't been exhausted or anything as far as the iron infusion that i had last time this is a different different brand it's safe for pregnancy it's called venifer and they give it to you in five different doses the last one i had i was supposed to get two doses and i only went in for one because i got scared after i had the side effect of the fever and so i didn't want to keep taking it but this time I have five doses. I probably won't be able to do all five because I'm sure baby will be here soon. We'll see how many I'm able to have. Hopefully after the first or second, I am feeling a lot better and hopefully my levels go up to at least an 11 and a half or a 12. They'll like run a bag of saline and then they put you in a really slow drip just to make sure um, they have to monitor your blood pressure and your temperature just to make sure you're not getting an allergic reaction because if you're going to get a side effect it usually they say it will be within the first 10 minutes of you um, getting the iron just got to the oncology department going to get my going to check in to get my infusion I decided to take the steps. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh yeah, it's right here. I was really nervous to get my first dose, but thankfully they were all super nice and everything went well. I explained to them that I got sick last time and they made sure that I was warm, gave me snacks, and I got to elevate my feet. It was really nice. I was so comfortable. And it didn't last long. I also got my first dose on a Friday. So it was nice that I got to wait and see all weekend if I was going to get sick or not. So um, it was Mother's Day. We went and we hung out, went to the movies. It was a very nice weekend. And I thankfully did not have any side effects other than being extremely it's sleepy. The infusion just makes me really, really tired. I sleep for like five hours after having one dose. But other than that, it was great. So just got home from getting my second dose of Benefer, the iron infusion that I've been getting. I'm supposed to be getting five doses and I'm at two. I'm 39 weeks and a day today so i honestly didn't think that i was gonna make it to another dose but here we are <laughs> i'm glad uh, that i was able to get to and i thankfully did not get sick so i'm so thankful i'm able to get this iron before baby gets here and i have extra time to be able to do so next appointment is in two days so if baby doesn't come yet we can get another dose in and hopefully that would, you know, surely by then my iron should be at least at an 11. And I'm gonna keep taking my liquid iron that I was taking and trying to eat a little more healthy, a little more veggies and I should be good. On our way to our third dose for my iron infusion. My energy levels, I don't feel like I've increased or anything. I feel exactly the same. They do say with iron infusions, though, it makes you tired. Yeah, I get so sleepy. Probably something about the iron going into the blood. Yeah, my body working extra or something. Maybe. But I get really, really sleepy after I get my dose. This will be our third dose. Yeah. And we're going to schedule another one for Friday. Got my comfy pillows here. Because it's getting pretty uncomfortable to just sit in the car for a long period of time. 40 weeks Sunday. I can't believe we've made it to another 
windows. Dad's feeling good. <laughs> You're not nervous? I'm nervous for the birth. Yeah. I just want everything to be good. Everything to be, you know, smooth and healthy. You know. Mom and baby be healthy. Everything be safe. I just worry about you. He's not here. These iron infusions, I feel like, give us peace of mind knowing that I'm getting at least three doses. I'm so thankful for Luke. He has yet to miss an appointment. He has taken me to all of my appointments, even though I know he's exhausted. So we made it to another midwife appointment. Luke is not feeling the vlog today. <laughs> we made it to another midwife appointment. I am almost 40 weeks, 39 weeks and five days, which is wild. We didn't think we were going to make it to another appointment, but here's a bump update. It's a little crazy in here. But we, I guess we'll talk about induction maybe. Because I'm not allowed to go past 42 weeks with the midwife. So we'll see what she says. So today's appointment was okay. I had high blood pressure. I don't remember what it was. I don't think she told me. But it was a little bit high. So they're going to check my iron ran some other tests to check the protein in my urine and hopefully that comes back good I think it will I think I was just a little nervous today going into my appointment since I'm almost 40 weeks and I knew we would talk about induction and stuff so that made me a little nervous but everything's good hopefully those tests come back good I'll get them in like two days I'll be able to check and see we did talk induction if I go past 41 weeks. Our next appointment will be a non-stress test. And then after that, if everything's good with that, um, we'll do an ultrasound to make sure that the fluids and everything's good with baby. Hopefully everything's good with all those tests and with the next two appointments. And hopefully he comes before our next appointment so that I don't have to get induced or have any interventions whatsoever. So I'm going to try to, I think all next week, starting today, actually, I'm just going to try to do as many things to induce naturally at home. Just got done with my fourth iron infusion. I had a little bit of a scare because my blood pressure was high and it was high at my midwife appointment yesterday. <clears throat> so I had to call to get permission to see if it was okay for me to get it. Thankfully my blood pressure went down after they checked it again got the okay to get my infusion done today so oh, I'm starting to cramp really bad I think that's why my blood pressure I think that's why my blood pressure was high because I'm cramping I think I might be having maybe mild contractions here and there but I'm good now I feel better and I got another dose. So they checked my protein yesterday at the midwife appointment and I ended up having to call today because my blood pressure was high here at the oncologist and she asked if they could check my protein here and it was good 
and I got the results from the midwife, and that protein was good too. So, no preeclampsia. She thinks it's just maybe like um, late pregnancy hypertension that I might be having because my blood pressure has been high the last few times I've checked it there at the midwife and here at the oncologist. Um, so she said to check it at home and if it goes up above 140 over 90, then I need to go to the OB emergency. If it goes up overnight while I'm home. So I'll keep checking it tonight and hopefully it stays good. Well, I'm ending the vlog here. Everything was good overnight. I didn't have high blood pressure and I felt pretty good. So I guess we'll just wait and see if baby comes on due date.